hello friends this is lesson 15 and here we are going to talk about machine learning and uh, machine learning we are going to cover the following topics first we have to know why do we use machine learning and then we'll talk about what is machine learning itself then types of machine learning and we will give some examples for them so let's start okay let's see first why do we use machine learning do we need the machine learning in our daily life or not so for that we have given some examples here and we will talk about that so first some people may think that machine learning is only being used in robots or uh, machines etc they are thinking like that because they have watched some sci-fi movies and from that they are taking decision that machine learning means only like it is used in robots in machines what they have watched in movies yeah it is right but it is it is not only that so machine learning has many usage in our daily life so think about for example think about searching a topic in google so searching a topic in google this is nothing but a type of machine learning just by typing the topic the the google will give you many references or provides you many references and you can easily find your topic and you can easily find the summary and you can easily take the decision based on the topic if this google is not there for example so what will happen how many books you have to refer to to get the topic and to read the topic how many books you have to refer so how many times uh, it will be com consumed here so instead of referring the books and reading all those books and uh, spending so much time for that instead we are opening the browser and typing the topic on the google so very easily we can find the topic and so many references will be provided by the machine and we can go through each and every reference and we can see the topic and we can see the differences and so on another example friends here is finding and tagging friends in facebook nowadays everyone almost everyone is using facebook these social medias so dear you have observed that whenever you are clicking on a photo so the system will provide the name of that person for you so how it it is identifying that this person is or the name of this person is that so this is all because of machine learning this is learned to the machines that it can easily find your friends and you can easily tag them and also for example if you want to find the friends just by adding a friend it will provide you so many other mutual friends automatically because it is done by the machine the machine is giving you the reference see this friend is related with this person do you know this person you can easily identify yeah this is also my friend through that you can send the friend request to that person as well so another examples for example if you like a page in uh, facebook just by liking the page or following the page so many other pages will be provided you by the system related to the page it will be recommended to you that these pages are also the same what you like so these are nothing but the references which are provided by the system uh, it is nothing but machine learning this is the help of machine that is providing in easy easing the way for us so another example let's go to like uh, online shopping websites if you go and open an online shopping website so there for example if you click on a shirt so the system will recommend you so many other related things for example it will recommend you the tie the shoes the watch and so many other things or for example the paint if you click on the paint again the system will provide you so many other things like the brands maybe different brands of the same shirt or paint it will provide you so this is nothing but it is done all by the help of machine learning so we can easily say that machine learning is nothing but it is easing our lives 
and we are seeing them every day in our life those people are using the systems or internet they can easily understand that how many facilities are provided by the system just by simply typing something on the google it is only giving you automatically even automatically the system is providing you the full word or the full sentence or the full reference it is providing you everything very easy everything became very easy by the help of machine learning so this is showing us the importance of machine learning how much it is important in our daily life so machine learning is important now let's go and see what is machine learning then so machine learning here i have defined that machine learning is the process of giving the ability to machines see here the ability to machines we are giving the ability to machines such as computers to learn from given data and without explicit guides by the user so we are giving the ability to machines or computers so the machines or computer think or they they can recommend or they can think or calculate everything automatically so then they will provide us so many facilities so the process is complex friends it is not that much easy it is so much complex because it uses what statistics and probabilities these two mathematical branches so machine learning use these things to find the base pattern uh, in the data and read the base solution or take the decision so taking the decision by the system or uh, base solution provided by the system it is all done by some mathematical calculation in the back end of the system so this is called machine learning so it is the ability to give the machines to work or uh, to to take a decision or to find the best solution for us so this is called machine learning so machine learning is nothing but it is a game of correlations and relationships this is important friends how it is working so machine learning actually it finds it has to find the relation between the different features so features or we can say predictors or we can say the inputs what we provide for the system the system first finds the relationship between all those um, features or inputs and based on that relationship how it is related one feature to another feature it is taking the decision or it can find or reach the best solution for us so let's see the process here what is the process for that the process for that here we have the data the data means here is the input data what we provide for the system so this is called the data but you have to remember friends here when we say the data it means this uh, we have to apply all the data science up to here it means we have to clean the data we have to obtain the data explore the data model the data clean the out layers nice data if you remember all those five steps of data science so you have to apply those all five steps here the data is clean the data is transformed uh, the outlays are removed everything is cleaned and now that type of data is provided for the system then the system is analyzing the data and finds the pattern between the data find patterns mean it finds the correlations or we can say finds the uh, relationship between the data maybe it is based on size maybe based on color maybe based on some some common uh, relationship or correlation between the features so that will be uh, found here after that based on that it is taking the decision or predicting something for us so that is after that we are we will be giving the system some feedback so based on the feedback the system will do the same or it will continue in the same manner so let me give you another example here friends then you will better understand so think about a recommendation system for online shopping so for online shopping if we open uh, an online uh, shopping website so there uh, we will give some preferences or we will give some likes or maybe like stores or maybe we are writing some comments on that something so these things are nothing but it is called feedback it is called user feedback what we provide for the system so based on that the system recommending us many other related things so for example if you open the website and there if you like 
like a t-shirt so the t-shirt the like what you are giving it is nothing but the data or for example the preference what you are giving so that is nothing but the data for the system or for example if stores it is the choice given for you to give the stores from one to five five stores you are giving four stores you are giving three stores you are giving so that is nothing but the data which you are providing for the system or maybe you are writing or liking commenting something like that so it is nothing but the data based on your data the system is analyzing that and finds the pattern between and take the decision and it will predict you or uh, give you a best solution or reach a best solution in the system is providing very much uh, um, good or prediction it will a uh, good prediction for you it will recommend you so many related other things and best things the prices everything comparing and it will providing you all those things and it is nothing but the feedback or the data what we provide or give to the system so that is called the data I hope you understood this much now let's see the types of machine learning friends so when we come to the types of machine learning machine learning is classified into three types so based on data type mathematics and computational level they are classified into three types so the first type is called supervised machine learning now let's see what is supervised machine learning friends so when we say supervised the name itself suggests supervised mean there is someone supervising or guiding the system it means it requires a person or a guider to guide or supervise the system and based on that supervision or guidance then the system is taking decisions and predicting the output so now here as the name suggests you have to supervise the machine suggest or learn the system to work its own so we are supervising how the system should work and the procedure we are clear uh, identity sorry we are specifying the, how the system should work so this is called supervision or supervised the machine learns from training data this you have to remember the machine learns from training data which we are providing as input so that data is nothing but label data this point you have to remember friends label data label data means the the features or the predictors or the inputs what we are giving to the system so that has some labels and through those labels the system then can predict the output so let's see what do you mean by this label so supervised here i have given you an example supervised machine learning or models might try to find the association between okay between these labels for example between person's health features so these features what we say it is nothing but the input or we can say the predictors or we can say the data which we what we provide for the system let's have an example here then you will understand this for example if the input is given for the system these are called the labels for example i say fever and then we say dry cough and then tightness headache and then sore throat and based on these features what we say based on these features these are called the labels the system will predict that the person is uh, in the risk of having coronavirus so that decision what the system recommends or predicts that is called the response or that is called the output or it is called the outcome of the system so wh what are these things like fever we have to tell the system if the person is having fever or the person is having dry cough the same time tiredness headache or for example we can we say the sore throat these are nothing but the symptoms of coronavirus so the person if the person is having these things so the person is infected and in having coronavirus and the result what the system predicts that is called the output or the response value or it is called the outcome so these things are called the the features or they are called the inputs or these are called the label data these are called the label data now the second type of machine learning is called unsupervised 
so what do you mean by unsupervised machine learning so here it is against a supervised machine it means here we don't have label data as we said here we have the training data is labeled but here we don't have label training data so how the system then predicts you provide the data we just provide the data to the system and let the system does the rest of work so how the system does the rest of work so the system has to find the relationship between the the data the, what we provide and label data it has to find the relationship the correlationship between the data how they are related to each other it has to find the pattern and it has to maybe like maybe taking decision based on color size other specification between common specification between data based on that the system is taking decision so this type of guiding or this type of learning is called unsupervised machine learning so it takes all the predictors means the features or inputs and finds what the relationship between them and deducing the dimensions if it provides so many features so what it is doing it will first find the relationship between and the strong relationship and based on that it could reduce some other features which has like at least um, it is not that much important or we can say the relationship is not that much close so it will reduce or remove those uh, features and it will consider only some of the features which are really having close relationship or core, core, uh, core relationship with each other and by aggregating and based on sim similarities or we can say similar values and that is grouping grouped and that is called clustering so unsupervised machine learning is just we provide the data to the system the system is taking the decision and how it is taking the decision it has to find the relationship between the features and uh, maybe it is reducing some of the features or removing some of the features and it takes only those features which are which are having close relationship or correlation with each other so it is aggregating those similar features together and that group is called the cluster i hope you understood this now let's see the third type the third type is called reinforcement learning so reinforcement learning is here it is like deep learning here the system itself thinks like see the machine learns from the environment just by giving the machine the reverse like we say right or wrong and these are nothing but the feedbacks what we provide for the system if we say the right so the next the next time the system will do the same if we say the wrong so the system will not repeat that because it is wrong then so the system say it is wrong then it will not repeat that if we say right so it will repeat that for example if we consider self-driving car so self-driving car or ai mm, artificial intelligence other devices which are working they are thinking like uh, like human being deep learning is required there so the machine themselves they learn from the environment and they are taking the decision based on the feedbacks what are provided by the environment and these are called the reverse uh, maybe we say yes or we say correct or incorrect or we say yes and no and based on that yes and no or correct or incorrect or right and wrong it is taking the decision and next time the right things will be repeated and the wrong things or uh, the wrong data or feedbacks what we have provided so that will be avoided for the system now let's see here again friends we talked about machine learning and we said machine learning is nothing but models or able to learn from data without explicit help of human being now machine learning is a game of correlations and relationships between the features so we talked about them then we came across uh, the types of machine learning then we said supervised machine learning which needs label data and unsupervised machine learning which does not require label data it is taking the, deci the deci decision is taken by the system itself and finds the relationship between the features and based on that relationship the, f the system will predict and then we talked about uh, okay reinforcement machines which are uh, the machine is learning from the environment by just giving the machine the rewards like yes and no or correct incorrect like that 
So again here, we will show them through some graphs and you will better understand friends. So supervised machine learning, we say it learns from the training data. And that training data is nothing but label data. Now let's see, here is an example, coronavirus symptoms. So the symptoms of coronavirus, like if the person is having fever or dry cough, tiredness, headache, and sore throat and so on so these are nothing but the labels and these are called the features or we can call them as a predictors or we can say input data which is provided for the system so based on these label data then the system predicts if all are positive then the system will say yeah the person is infected by coronavirus because these are nothing but the symptoms of coronavirus so here, this is the data, the data, we have the output for the data and we have the input. So the inputs are called the predictors, the output is also called the outcome, we can say the response value. So here we have, these are the inputs, fever, dry cough, tightness, sore throat, headache. If these things are provided by the system, so the system will respond based on these things, based on the data and features, the person infected with coronavirus. So this type of machine learning is called supervised machine learning because we are providing the labels for the machine. So it finds the relationship between these, uh, these features and these labels and then it will provide us the, the, the outcome or the response value. So here again we have training labels. The training labels are fit to the system or supervised machine or model then the model is tested by that data and that will be repeated so many times like training train the system or supervised model and also tested so many times and based on that the model is now ready the model became a predictive model now if we provide unseen data because the model is already trained and tested here now we are providing unseen data to the system so this unseen data will be analyzed based on these data which which we have already provided and trained the system test the system and repeatedly we done all those things so based on that the unseen data will be analyzed here and it will do some predictions for us true or false or we can say yes or no infected uninfected we can say like that and unsupervised machine learning, friends, we said unsupervised machine learning is trying to find the, okay, hidden structure in unlabeled data. We have unlabeled data, it has to find the hidden patterns, structures uh, between the data, how the data is related to each other, the correlations between the data and object, and that is nothing but based on some similarities, we said color, size, shape, like that. So it is taking the decision. For example, see here, friends, in this figure here, we have red, red uh, data points, and we have green here, and we have blue here, and we have pink, like here, this color. So see, these data points are clustered here because they are in the same color they are having. They are having the same color, they are clustered or grouped in a separate uh, group. And here we have another group of similar data and this is another group of similar data which is called the cluster. So based on similarities, the data will be grouped like this into different groups or uh, these are called the clusters. Now again we are providing the data. The data comes to the unsupervised machine learning. The machine learning here, it is taking the decision between the data. It finds the similarities in between and it finds the hidden patterns, the, the correlation, we can say the relationship. And based on that, it will cluster the data and at the same time, it will reduce some, the, some of the dimensions if those features are not required or maybe the relationship is uh, not that much close. So those features will be reduced or removed from the um, uh, consideration. So it will cluster the data like that based on similarities like color, features, some, some common things in between, they are aggregated. Now here, most 
super wide learning techniques can be summarized as this so here we have clustering as i said clustering means has goal to partition the set of examples into groups as i said based on similarities they will be grouped together dimensionality reduction aims to reduce the dimension dimensionality of data see friends whenever we have like data here here we may have some features that has not that much close relationship maybe the correlation value is so much less than so we are not considering and we will remove or the system automatically will not consider those features and will reduce the dimension the dimensions of the data for example uh, and also like if we have so many dimensions to three dimensions four dimensions that is consuming the time also and it is complexing the data also so it is reducing the dimensions of data to for example two dimensions or one dimensions or maybe three dimensions or to lesser dimensions so that will be faster and easily calculated by the systems and also the system performance will be good and also we can say the number of errors will be less there. Then outlier detections has a purpose to find unusual events, outliers. For example, here if you consider this data point can be considered as an outlier because it is so much far from this uh, cluster. Some data points that, uh, that has not so much related to the data, so those are called outliers or nice data that should be removed for that also and supervised machine learning is used to detect the outliers. Okay, novelty detection we can say deals with the cases uh, when the changes occur in the data. Some changes whenever occur in the data it will deal with that also. Now the last type what we talked friends it was unsupervised machine learning. So unsupervised machine learning we say uh, the machine learns from the environment just by providing the rewards like true and false and based on that true and false the machine or the system is taking decision and true will be repeated and that will be followed by the system if we say false so the system may not repeat those patterns. So this type of machine learning is very popular in AI or uh, artificial intelligence friends, robotics and like that. Example here which I have given you here you see this uh, image or picture here self-driving cars how they are working they are reading the data or the input through some sensors and act accordingly so the data will be provided they are uh, equipped with some sensors so the sensors are detecting the um, the data and based on that they are rewarded in taking the decision or action the car then adjusts its behavior to collect more rewards so the, the system should be in such a way that it is collecting rewards and based on that rewards it is like um, predicting the, the output. For example, if the car, the street is fully or the road is fully empty, so the car is, feed, it is uh, like it has given the feedback, it should be speed up. If the road is empty or uh, there is no rush or we can say there is not any obstacle other obstacle so it can speed up otherwise if there is something like the rush is there or maybe the circle is there it has to see the red lights if the red light becomes uh, green then it can cross the like that these are called the data or the input data or rewards which are provided by the system uh, for the system and based on those rewards the system is taking decision friends i hope you understood this much we talked about machine learning and we said uh, first the importance of machine learning types of machine learning and we defined and we provided some examples for all of them i hope you understood this much friends